tell us what you'd like to um, say to the people of Darfur. Say it now? Yeah. Without rehearsing or yeah. Hey, I'm glad to be able to talk to you. Just want to let you know we're gathering over here in Los Angeles. A group of Armenians, just about everybody here at this gathering has, uh, is a genocide survivor. We've come today to Griffith Park to make a difference for you. To uh, remember every one of our brothers and sisters who are suffering from genocide. To help uh, people to understand what people go through for genocide. To create awareness to what's going on. To let you know that you're not all alone over there. To support you, to express our love with you, to help you. To uh, educate the public until this this uh, genocide stops. No more genocide! No more genocide! Imagine kids living in a place like that. Hi, my name is Toler. I'm a school teacher. I'm a third generation genocide survivor. I'm a survivor of the Armenian genocide. Hi, uh, I am Lida and this is Sony. Hi. 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 Hi, my name is Melina Kurdian. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. Hey, I'm Vartan. I'm Christopher. My name is Ara. I'm Sosi. Hi, I'm Ani. Hi, I'm, I'm Armina. Hi. Hi. Hi, my name is Susie. Hi, everybody. Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hi, everybody. I'm Colleen and this is Arfi and we're trying Our ancestors have been through the same thing as you. We're grandchildren and great-grandchildren of genocide survivors. My great-grandma was in it and she was the only survivor. What happened to you happened to me, to my family, grandparents, 100 years ago. I'm a genocide survivor myself, my great-grandfather uh, and his family. My grandparents are also uh, genocide survivors. I'm third generation. A genocide survivor. My grandparents walked through the deserts to Iran. I know what my grandfather went through and I feel your pain. I am one of the genocide sons. My dad, he was 11 years old the time he lost everything. My grandmother is a genocide survivor. Uh, if it wasn't for the people who helped her, we would not be here today. The anger that you feel today will be the strength that you will need to get the message across. We've heard the stories through our families and we know that we can overcome this through the love of our family. We think about you all the time. You're, you're, you're never for, forgotten. The Armenians recovered from such a genocide and I know that with the help of God and with help of everyone around you that you will be able to overcome this as well. My grandparents were married in a refugee camp. We survived. It can be done. To the people of Darfur, hope is possible and miracles are possible because we've been there and we've done that. And all the Armenians that are still alive prove that you just survive when you believe. We send these messages of love. You're not alone. We're all in it together. We love you. I was thinking of you. And I'm we're praying for We're praying you. for you. Just be patient and I'm sure God can hear your prayers. Hey, God bless you. God is next to you. <laughs> we just want to give you support and motivation. I hope you make it through. God is lifting you up among the ashes and we know that it's a very difficult time. Know that we're thinking about you and you're in our prayers. We're with you. We think about you. Even though we're a million miles away, we care about you. And our thoughts and prayers are with you every day. We want you to have hope that things will be better. Stop this killing to anyone in this world. As it's written in the Bible, this too shall pass. We're saddened that all this is happening. We stand with you. Uh, we're sending you love, hope, and faith. Surviving this uh, uh, ordeal, and you will, you're going to be greater than what you are now. You're a survivor, and you're going to be a survivor. Be strong. My prayer is that you receive that somehow connection that gave us 
a will to live and get our grandparents to survive or else we wouldn't be here. We're here, so there's hope. Know that you're cared about, know that you're thought about, and you're not alone. Don't give up. Don't give up the hope, just pray all the time. Darfur, we're there for you, we understand what you're going through, and we hope all the best for you. We're there for you, we will, until all the massacres and the genocide stop. United, until we have the power to stop this. This and everything else will pass. The power of love is always greater than any power of evil that's out there. Love is going to overcome all this hatred. Love is going to conquer everything. Things will turn around if you believe. God be with you and we pray for you every day. Thank God you. Bless you. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you and may he watch over you every day. God be with you. God bless you guys and wish you the best. Thank you. Shukran. You guys are always in our prayers. Okay? Take care. We love you. Take God care. Love you. Hang in there. We love you. Love you all. So we love you and we're here for you. Stay strong. Take care and God bless. Peace. Love you all. Peace. We're with you. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. God bless you guys. God be with you. God bless you all. <laughs> we all know that we went through genocide. You don't need an Obama, you don't need a Congress to tell you that genocide happened. What we do need to do is point the world to a genocide happening right now. And that's in Darfur. And so what all of you are doing here today is you're telling the world that, hey, we may be small. We're a small little group of people. Not too many people cared about us in 1915. There's another group out there. And we are not going to let the world close its eyes to Darfur. Mm.